Hi everybody. Hi everybody, welcome to watercolor class. Um, I'm just going to do a quick little discussion of different materials that you're going to be purchasing for this class. The first thing are your brushes. And I've had you order this small kit of, uh, I, I think it's, a, it's called Simply Simmons. It's a Richard Simmons um, brand brush. Now watercolor brushes, I'm going to turn off the music. Watercolor brushes are distinctive from, say, a brush that, that you might use for acrylic paint or um, oil paint in, in that they're much softer, okay? So um, they're made, they're designed to move paint onto the paper in a very different way than um, your brushes would be used like for acrylic or oil painting. They're meant to hold more water and move water around and also sort of deposit water or lift water up off the paper. So they have a, a different feel, they're much softer. The other thing to remember is you're working on wet paper usually, and so a stiffer brush like an oil or acrylic painting brush is gonna braid the paper. So the brushes you're getting are very important in terms of how they're um, used in the process. Watercolor brushes. The other thing, are your, thing is your paper. I had you order three different types of watercolor blocks. Typically in my class we stretch paper, but since this is online, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to be working with watercolor blocks. And watercolor block is like kind of like a sketchbook, um, except all the paper is glued down to each other. So what this means is the paper is um, affixed to one another around the edge of the of the block, and this allows and it's and these blocks to save uh, money. They're they're glued on only two sides and two sides are open. And what this does is it allows the paper to stay flat when you get, um, get it wet. It's pre-stretched. So you've probably, many of you might have worked on watercolor paper where it starts to bubble up and stuff. Uh, watercolor that's in a block is um, less prone to do that. And I had you get two different kinds, um, a, a um, cold pressed paper. So that's the finish of the paper. It has a little bit of texture to it. And then a hot press. A hot press finish and this is a hot press finish is nice if you're doing uh, watercolor illustrations but it's also a nice paper to work on it's important to have the experience of working on hot press paper and then I had to get a 12 by 16 pad two of the cold press so larger sheet of paper so this should do you all semester your um, the watercolor paint obviously is probably the most important thing and watercolor paint comes in just uh, hundreds of different brands and quality levels. I tried to find a brand that was good enough for you, but also inexpensive with a variety of colors. And you can see this set is pretty good for that. Um, the only thing, yeah, I think this will work for us for the semester. If there's any kind of colors that maybe come up that I'll recommend you use, maybe you could buy an individual tube or something as the semester progresses, but I think this will work. These will work just fine. The brand is Marie's Watercolor. You know, and these are tube watercolors, okay? So watercolor tends to come in two different style, um, uh, modes, I guess. One is a tube, so it's kind of like acrylic paint, but it's watercolor in there. And the other kind are pans. So these are like what you might be uh, think of when you think of the, the little uh, metal pans that you get when you're a kid, where the watercolor paint, you have to add water to it, and then it gets, um, gets uh, activated. That's um, the other kind. So these are tubes. And then the other thing that I had you get is a palette. To mix your colors on so this is a nice i think the palette that's coming in your kit might be half this size i can't recall or it might be this size but this is a really handy it's plastic it's inexpensive you have these little wells to put your paint in and then these areas to mix the color in and then a lid to cover the whole thing to keep them uh, fresh i guess or whatever one of the in interesting things about watercolor paint is that it never it, even though it dries you can reactivate it with water it's um a paint that unlike say acrylic paint where it's uh, uh, when you when it dries you can't dissolve it again watercolor paint has that that ability so when you pour it, put your paint out in your palette you can just uh, make it work uh, active again by adding some water to it the other thing that you should probably get is a spray bottle a small spray bottle. I don't have an example of it right down here I'll show you one in a later video um, but a spray bottle and then I also have on the list a flat brush a watercolor flat and I don't have that around here I thought it came in the kit but um, I ordered the same kit but maybe it was back ordered so you need a flat brush in addition to the these brushes and the flat brushes for is for washes 
So that's an introduction to the, um, a basic introduction to the materials. You will learn more about the materials as the class progresses. So thank you.